My name is Anastasia. Um, I'm working at the international office of the University of Vienna. And the University of Vienna has been part of the OLA Plus project, uh, which is the follow-up project for the OLA. Um, since 2016, if I'm correct, maybe 2017. I'm not 100% sure about the year. At the University of Vienna, we had several testing cycles. Um, we started to test the OLA and the dashboard first with some um, fake accounts that we created ourselves just to try out the tools. And then later on, we decided to actually take the step um, one step forward and to test the OLA and the dashboard with real students and with real mobilities. Um, for this sake, um, we, we decided it would be better not to test it out with all students at once. Um, at the University of Vienna, we have more than a thousand incoming students and more than a thousand outgoing students each year. So we decided it would not be a good idea to to just jump into the cold water and, and try to test it with all of the students at once. So um, what we decided is to implement it gradually and to actually test it with some selected faculties and some selected departments. The way that we selected the departments and faculties um, that tested the OLA um, was we were looking for colleagues that would be actually willing to, to take on the little extra workload of um, trying out a new tool and also giving us feedback on on the implementation on a faculty or on a department level. So we are really happy to have been able to actually take our time to really first look at the platform and the tools ourselves, test them with the fake accounts, and then also having some time to actually test them with real students, but not with all of them at once. Just taking our time to, um, to do the testing sessions with a limited, smaller group of students and taking also our time to, um, to collect their feedback. So um, that was definitely a big plus for us to be able to actually test the tools at our pace before they become something on a bigger scale. Um, it was interesting to see that actually every university, even in Austria, we don't have one structure that can be um, applicable to all universities. It's rather every university has its own idea of how the ideal process should look like. So it was really interesting to hear from the other universities how they do it. Um, everybody has its own approach, their own approach. Um, then at our university, um, on faculty and departmental level, um, we have had really good feedback in general. Um, some critical points were pointed out. Um, the colleagues um, were asking about, um, for example, how to double check the OLA before it is actually signed which is actually possible in the dashboard. Um, so that is something that we could work around by um, making the two colleagues that have to check the OLA talk to each other and then one of them can sign it in the dashboard. So that's actually an applicable solution. Um, in general, all the feedback that we got um, pointed in the same direction and um, everybody I think is on the same page and there's a big common denominator which is everybody agrees that the learning agreement is supposed to be di digital. Um, the response from the students was probably the most positive feedback that we got um, which we kind of expected. Um, for most of the students the OLA, so the live testing that we did with the students and they would need to fill out an OLA and for most of the students, it was their first mobility experience. So it was also the first learning agreement that they are filling out. So they did not really have the comparison to what it would have meant to do all this on paper. Um, but so it was actually funny because we sent out um, an information email about the OLA that we are testing it now. Please fill out your OLA and then an information sheet on how to do how to fill it out. And I would bet that none of the students looked at this information sheet but they, however, managed to fill it out correctly. So I feel like for the students, it's just something completely um, natural to fill it out online, to have the signatures online. So it was not questioned at all by the students. And the ones that we did contact for some in-depth feedback um, were really positive about the tool.